She, where the hell did the, the pockets at on the coats? Where the pockets at? Ladies and gentlemen, get your bags up. We win it. Count it up. Level up. Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey girl, hey. Alright guys, in today's video, we're going to be doing a sheen curve fall-ish kind of haul. Um, I got a couple different pieces, um, so let's go ahead and get started. So, um, I did get a couple accessories. The first thing that I did get was this jewelry case all right in this jewelry case it's like a little buckle right here and you just pull it out and it's pretty much for like your earrings okay so i thought this was really cute it's really thick so the material is not anything that's going to be flimsy it's quite a few places in here so it's 12 slots on each page and it's four pages. So this is about 48 pairs of earrings, which really helps me out because I don't have anywhere to put my earrings. And then just to close it is like this. So this is really cute for traveling. The next item I have is just a pair of earrings. And I thought these were really cute. They're just some little pencil earrings. And I thought these was really cute. Kind of goes with my theme. Um, I am a school teacher, so I will try to insert a little picture here of a shirt I had made. It kind of goes with my classroom theme of pencils. So I just thought these were really cute, so I decided to pick them up. All right, so let's get into some of the jackets that I got. Um, the first jacket is gonna be a Borge collar zip up sweated jacket, okay? And this is what the jacket looks like. Um, it does have like the little scrunchy kind of material at the end. And it is this type of suede material. And the collar is more of like this little fuzzy material. Um, one thing I do like is that the ends come, of the arms come a little tight. So that helps me out. Um, Cause normally most of the jackets that I do find, they normally hang way over my hands because I'm sure I'm only 5'1 on a good day. So that really um, is a plus for me. Very soft material. And it's not um it's not really that thick. Um and I do like that for the fall. The inside is just a brown lining. And I do want to mention um Every um, one of the jackets that I'm going to show you today is in a 1X in the sheen curve. Now this, not a real pocket. It's just for show, okay? Not a real pocket. So, love this one. Um, and I don't like to wear jackets like that. So this is really nice that it's a little thick on the thinner side. Next item we have is a zip up patch detail winter coat. Um, to me, this is more of wintry than fall, but you know, sometimes on fall nights it do get cold. So, this is like a puffer jacket, really love it. Again, look at the arms. I love it. Won't go past my hands. Um, does have like this type of collar on it. Has a little patch on it. Um, that has like a name and date. Um, I, ugh, they kind of already put a name in there. If you all can see that. 
I kind of wish they would have left that blank, but really love this jacket. Um, this one is not cinched on the bottom, and the inside is like this silky type material. Really nice jacket. And this is the bag. Love it. And it's kind of, I guess from back here is the true color versus when I kind of put it up close. It kind of looks a little bright. All right, next one is a leather patch drop shoulder teddy jacket. Um, this one really caught my eye when I seen the letter on it. Let me zip it up for you guys. This one has the letter P on it, which is my last name. So again, the smaller scrunchy type end, really love that. This is more of like a ivory color, I would say. And you can kind of see the material very soft, not really thick at all. Inside is the same type material. And it just has the zip, one zipper, nice patchwork on the P. It's kind of made out of the same type material. Very nice. And I normally don't wear anything like white, ivory, any of those colors, but really love this one. This one kind of has like a, not really a cinched bottom, cause it, well, I guess it could be cinched cause it is stretchy. Um, but I really love this one. The back is plain, there's nothing on the back. Really love this one. Next, we have a plaid print flap detail jacket. This one, I would probably say you could kind of dress it up or dress it down. Um, kind of could wear it as a, a part of your outfit too instead of just a jacket. And it's this plaid blue kind of a navy blue, lighter blue, black, and white. Um, this one does come with the smaller end, but it is a button. So if you were to button it, it's a little smaller. So this one won't go past my arms either. Um, the collar is more of this like cottony, soft feel, not as fluffy as the other jacket I showed you guys, but very nice. The front has, this is not a real pocket. It does unbutton, but it is not a real pocket. It's kind of there for show. And the front has these little brown buttons on it all the way down. So really love this one. You can kind of dress this one a couple different ways. Next is this drawstring hooded leather jacket. And this is what it looks like. It is a zip in the front and it is hooded. The bottom is the cinched um, bottom at the bottom. Very nice gold hardware. I love the gold hardware. It is hooded. Inside material is kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a windbreaker type feel on the inside. And it does have like the drawstring to make it tighter. Zipper has this little gold loop on it. Makes it easier for zipping up and down. There's no pockets know anything and I do like the cinched bottom on this as well and this one again has the cinched um, end of the sleeve love it because it does not come past my hand again anything like that is a plus this one 
can be dressed up, dressed down. Love it. All right, next is this Geo Print Bomber Jacket. And this is what this looks like. This is kind of more of like a, I don't want to say windbreaker material because the material is, you know, soft and it's not like a, kind of like a windbreaker material. But this is, this one is kind of thin, perfect for fall. It's almost, you can almost see through it. Um, this one does have the cinched bottom as well and it also has the cinch sleeve and it's you know significantly smaller than the rest of the sleeve so i really like that um the collar is like this it's not really a flip down collar and all of the little hardware on it is silver no pockets anything like that but this is really great for you know, fall, if, you know, it's one of those cool nights and you're out, out on the town, nice jacket, you can kind of dress this one up, dress it down as well. All right, so next we have this flat pocket drop shoulder denim jacket. And I really love this one because um, it does have like that cinched waistline. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It has like a cinched waistline, um, silver hardware, so it's gonna button like this. Um, does have pockets, not real pockets again. Um, and also, it doesn't have like the cinched um, end of the sleeve, but it does fall on my hand just right. And just the fact that the sleeve is like a wider sleeve and then this comes down smaller. So that does help me out as well. Inside is just the, in, you know, regular denim. So I didn't button this one up, but try to give you all a, a look at it. And what it looks like closed up, kind of sort of like that and then again on the back around the sides it is a cinched waistline and i really love how um this one looks and i actually i love how the model um wears it in the picture if you all can see that she has on like some pleather pants um and i actually got some of those from she so that think that really paired nice with this and look how the the waistline the waistline cinches. I really love that. Okay, so that's all of the jackets that I have. I did pick up a couple dresses. Um, the first dress that I picked up was this honeycomb textured mock neck bodycon dress. Um, I will say that I ordered this dress in a 1X and a 2X. Because it is a bodycon dress, it fits on you, okay? There's nothing to be desired in this one. Um, when I got ready to put on the 1X, I felt like as I was pulling it down, it was already, you know, feeling tight. So I went ahead and put on the 2X. And this is what it looks like. It does, it is textured. It doesn't just look like the honeycomb. It is like textured. You see that? It's very textured. Um, it has like a little neck on it. So it is gonna kind of come up to here. Um, and the waist is a little cinched on the in the middle, if you all can tell that. Very nice. It's not too thin, not too thick. So I feel like it's perfect for the fall weather. Inside doesn't have no type of lining. It's that same honeycomb material. And this is kind of like a, I want to say like a brownish, a light brownish color. Um, and again, the arms do come down to, see how it's kind of wide in here, comes down skinny on the end. 
perfect does not go past my arms um and like you can kind of see in the video where i'm wearing it um if you do have like a fupa like i do you may want to put like some type of um body shaper under it and also i just want to mention too like you see how the the ends of the arms is kind of ruffled it's the same thing around the bottom of it it's like a ruffled material so very nice dress very nice next is this turtleneck raglan sleeve sweater dress and i don't typically wear sweater dresses um i've always never liked how they looked on me but i really like this one again this is kind of folly color more of like a copper looking color it does have this turtleneck on it um and with mine i didn't really roll it down like this i kind of just took mine in and made it you know a little ruffled and this is what the material looks like this one is not really really thick um the sleeve on this one does not cinch like that but it did have like a good length for my arm since i am short um, and it does have a little bit of detailing on it on each side actually it's about like three little ropes or something like that and then on the bottom it is ribbed on the bottom it doesn't cinch you know like go in tighter but it is ribbed on the bottom so you can kind of see the difference in the not the material but the design at the top and then how it changes at the bottom so this one would definitely be a cool night out type outfit because i don't do these sweater things and i'm be hot so we definitely gonna um wear that on a very cool night all right everything else that i have is pretty much graphic t-shirts um i just felt like i needed like some you know, layback type t-shirts, something I can throw on. Um, some of these did catch my eye because they kind of go with my personality. But we're not going to talk about these t-shirts that long. I mean, it's a t-shirt, okay? First up is this gray t-shirt. It says it's way too peoply outside. And this is it. So just a plain t-shirt, material t-shirt. And again, I did get all of these um, in the Sheen Curve collection in a 1X. Next is this one that says Wife, Mom, Boss. And it is in like this pink looking color or mob, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's it with that. Next is this gray t-shirt that says Let Your Faith Be Bigger Than Your Fear. So this is it. This is kind of, you know, it's that t-shirty cough material. Again, this one is in like a gray type color. All right, moving on. All right, next is this one that says, do more of what you, do more of what makes you happy. And this is it. And this is, yeah, this is kind of a t-shirt type material. It's a little softer or smoother than the other um, t-shirts. All right, moving on, we have this one that says, everyone was thinking it, I just said it. And this is what this one looks like. And this is kind of like the last one. It is a t-shirt material, but it's kind of a little smoother than what a t-shirt material would be. All of these, I would say, are true to size. Very stretchy, very comfortable. All right, next one says, if my mouth doesn't say it, my face definitely will, and it will. Um, and this is what this one looks like, okay? Now, this is not 
a t-shirt type material. This is more of like a polyester. See how it stretches? It's not really a t-shirt type material. Definitely more silkier than t-shirt cloth material. Next one. Is this one right here that says you are enough and this one kind of has like little words around it it says powerful value love capable brave bold strong smart kind tough yeah so you are enough and this one is kind of back to that other kind of t-shirt in between polyester type material and then here's the last one that I got and it says I'm not for everyone and this is what it looks like and this one is right back to that stretchy not t-shirty material more like a polyester doesn't even feel like a t-shirt very smooth like feeling um, and that is all I have in this haul. One thing I do want to say, um, first of all, this video is not sponsored. Secondly, um, she, where the hell did the, the pockets at on the coats? Where the pockets at? You know, you got your little cute little coat on, you want to stick your arms in? No pockets. Where is the pockets? Okay, that's the end of my rant. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I will leave all of the links to all of these um, items down below. Some of them may be out of stock, um, so they may return, they may not, I don't know. But I'll go ahead and leave the link links down below just in case you want to purchase anything out of this haul. And if you would like to see more hauls like this, let me know down in the comments. I'm always ordering, I'm always buying something. I just never kind of put it into a haul for you all to see. So. Let me know if you want to see something like this. You want to see more hauls. I can definitely do that. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot about the dress I have on. All right. The dress that I have on is a chain and zebra stripe print drop shoulder belted dress. And this dress, I want to say is, it's almost like a... You know how you get those plaid shirts in the wintertime? It's almost like a thinner type feeling material of that dress. Um, I do think this is really cute. I did um, try it on with the belt and with the, out the belt. You can kind of wear it either way. This one, um, it does have the double button. I only button it one time for the purpose of this haul. But again... See how that's not going to move? Not going to go past my hand. And I really like this dress. It's about, you know, good for my height. Not too long, not too short. It's collared. And the print on it, I love it. Let's see if you all can see that print. Okay, and the last outfit I have is this spiral tie-dye drop shoulder tee and biker shorts. I really just got this kind of like the lounge in, run to the store. If I'm out and about shopping, I feel like it's a good type of outfit for you to, um, you know, just throw on and go. Um, and I feel like it is fall friendly. Um, the material is not too thick, not too thin. Um, and I have already worn this. And right here, I'm just showing you um, kind of how I paired it when I wore it. I wore it out to a veg fest last weekend and I just paired it with this pink purse and these pink sneakers. So, yeah. All right, y'all. This is truly the end this time. So, again, links will be down below. Let me know if you want to see more hauls. And until next time, bye. Natural queen woke up like this. Heels, nails, and super five kicks. Haters ass how she getting all this. You silly truth with the flick on my wrist.